Hey guys, I'm back again to do another video for the Horror Man's channel, and I've got a Horror Man shirt! I mean, Flashback Saturday, super awesome, super cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm about a whole week late with my video, but that's okay, I'm here now! Um, so Saturday's theme was to watch a slasher with a clown in it. Lord, I hope that was the theme because that's what I did. Um, so I ended up watching The Terrifier, which is on Netflix. And let me tell you, that movie was kind of terrifying. Um, it has a clown in it that is like creepy looking. So this movie is just like so brutal i mean for all you gore fans this does have a lot of blood and gore in it and it is just so brutal oh my gosh so there's this one character and i don't even remember her name ah, she i don't know her name but she kind of reminded me of like Nev Campbell from like Scream, like the Sydney, and I was so hoping that, you know, she would make it to the end because she seemed like she knew what was up. She knew the clown was creepy and something was going to go down. She did not like the way he was acting, and yeah, I thought she would make it to the end, but no. Um, so this movie... I don't know. By the end of it, it like makes a complete loop or something. I'm like a little bit confused as to what happened. Uh, yeah. So, are we at the end or the beginning or... I don't know. But, it is really, really good. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. It creeped me out. And I'm not a person that is scared of clowns. No, I am not scared of clowns. I do have to say that... Even though the movie was supposed to have a clown in it, the clown didn't necessarily have to be the killer, but this clown was the killer. And he was a gosh darn brutal attacker, just, ugh. Yeah, oh my goodness. And the way his face was painted up, he was just like pretty much black and white, you know, and it was like the creepiest face. Uh, and I'm not scared of clowns, but yeah, if I saw him, that would creep me out. I did not like, oh, no, he kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, so this movie, totally cool. Totally cool. I mean, it had me on the edge of my seat just wondering, was any gonna, anybody going to make it out alive? Because, like I said, the one character that I did like that had the kind of Nev Campbellish vibe, I thought she would make it, and then, you know, she's beating the clown up, and she's begging him to get up, and this is me. I'm yelling at my phone going, uh, don't wait for him to get up. Just beat him up now. Beat him down. He's already down. Just beat him up. No, don't ask him to get up. I mean, are you crazy? I just don't understand people. If that was me, that's not gonna be me, but uh, if that was me, I would have done beat him up. I'm sorry, you got the board in your hand, he's hurt, he's on the ground, beat him up. Yeah, so, <laughs> this movie just, ah, and it was like crazy. Clown is mental. Then there's this woman that is mental, I guess. I don't know she has a baby doll and it's like seriously that's your child she says this is her baby I don't remember what she named the baby but oh yeah it's not coming to me but anyways the baby oh my gosh it's a it's a doll it's a baby doll it's not a real baby so I think she was a little not there and you know this movie doesn't have that many locations it mainly takes place in this apartment building 
or something, warehouse. I don't know what it is. I thought it was an apartment. But then I think they called it a warehouse. Anyways, it's somewhere. But at the beginning of it, it takes place in the pizza world. Which, they seen the clown out on the street. And, you know, they coming back from some Halloween party or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's so much. But <laughs> they end up at the pizza parlor because, you know, they've had a little too much and they got to sober up. So, next thing you know, the clown comes off in there and is sitting and is staring at the girl with the creepiness that he is. And it's like, seriously? Ugh! That would creep me out. I'm, I would so be out of there. A lot of stuff that they did, I wouldn't be doing because I would have done been gone. My friend, I'm sorry. I would have had to leave her there because I'm not going to deal with this clown. I would have done been gone out of there. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not dealing with this clown. And then, you know, the pizza people at the place are going to handle the dude. And, yeah, that didn't work out too well for them because his head he turned him into like a, a jack-o-lantern looking type thing I mean it was totally gruesome yeah I mean there's a there's a lot of stuff that happened in this smashing and bashing and heads being cut off and her friend oh her friend got it bad just brutal he about he just sawed her in half really i mean she was upside down legs up and he just sawed her right down the middle ouch yeah that brutal 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 but yeah this clown was just definitely mental just something wrong here i mean and is he even human i'm beginning to wonder because you know he got beat up he got things happen to him but it don't seem to phase him any and then there's this dude that works there was like I guess doing getting rid of the rats or whatever and yeah he got kind of his head smashed in so that is lovely that, I mean, for you people that really like the blood and the gore, there was a good amount of it. I mean, that kind of like, <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. I don't want to come face to face with this clown. He's just, yeah, not cool. Not cool at all. And I just, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I really liked this movie. And the Nev Campbell looking girl. I wish I could think of her name. My mind has now gone blank. But anyways, she had called her sister to come and pick them up because they ended up with a flat tire, which probably the clown did it. He probably smashed their tire to hell so they couldn't go nowhere. You know, I imagine that's what happened. Uh, I would have just been like hightailing it out of there. I don't care. I'm not sticking around for nothing for this clown because he is too creepy. So she's on her way and then she finally gets there. Well, everybody is pretty much about dead that's in the building. And so now she has to deal with all this house of horrors that's gone on. And, you know, you would think something good would happen. And it all gets down to it. The cops eventually get called. Um, she makes it out of the place, but it went into another building, and he, like, rams, I think it was a truck, right through the door, and she gets hit, and then, you know, he's pretty much got her trapped there, and he's, like, eating her face off, and this is where I mean, where we took a whole complete loop, because at the beginning of the movie, there was a woman that had her face just, like, I don't know rearranged looking it was horrible and she was getting interviewed and then she ends up attacking the interviewer after the interview 
and it seemingly looked like he's watching this program and everything that's being said and you know like they say he's dead and it's almost like he gets pissed about that so he gets his gear on and gets his face paint and this is where I'm confused because at the end of this the girl gets her face eat off she ends up in the hospital he ends up blowing his head off and ends up at the morgue with the other bodies and the corner is checking out the bodies and one dude looks like a dude that got his head blown off but I'm assuming it's the guy that was dealing with rats maybe one that got his head bashed in maybe and then he inspects the clown which looks like nothing is wrong with him like not a guy that got his head blown off and yeah then like a bunch of weird shit happens and and the clown ends up killing the corner dude and then we see that the girl is getting out of the hospital and her face is like mangled like the one in the beginning so i'm confused if we take a complete loop is this something that just loops around and around and around i don't know uh somebody explain that to me because <laughs> I, I got a little lost of course it took me i want to say two days to actually watch this movie because I started it one day, didn't have enough time to finish it, and I finished it another day, and there may have been maybe a day in between that I didn't watch it, but yeah, I got a little confused. I got really behind this week. I've been doing my art classes and my painting, and I've just been kind of wore down and everything, so I know, excuses, excuses, excuses. But I really love this movie. Um, check out the Horror Men's channel. Yeah. I <laughs> love this shirt. Um, let's continue to do these awesome reviews. And you guys stay safe out there because we're still in crazy times. This is a crazy world out there. And um, just stay safe and have fun. And um, yeah, I'm excited for my vacation, staycation that's coming up. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Maybe I'll make some more videos for you guys. We shall see. But anyways, uh, until the next time, which is tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to do it tomorrow. Flashback Saturday on Saturday, Kelly. You can do this. <laughs>